has turned on the seatbelt light. Please take your seat and fasten your seatbelts. Thank you. An object is something you can add to a frame to enhance or explain areas of the frame, such as callouts, or to incorporate actions into the frame, such as a button changing when it's clicked. If you watch the video on recording movies, you know that you can set your recording options to add callouts, cursors, and typing box objects automatically as you create a new movie. Once your movie is created and you select a frame in that movie to enhance, you can use the home ribbon and the local toolbar of the frame editor to add all kinds of objects to that frame. There are shapes like ovals and rectangles, graphics such as arrows and loops, and interactive objects including buttons and input boxes. For some objects, such as rectangles or bubbles, you select the object, click on the frame, and drag while holding down your mouse. For other objects, such as arrows and lines, you select the object, click on the frame, release your mouse, and drag. Then, depending on the object, you either click once or twice to finish. You can resize and move objects around as you need to. Each object is stored on its own layer in the frame. This enables you to overlap objects and bring them forward to the top of the order or send them back to the bottom of the order. This can be done from the Home ribbon or the right-click menu. You can also rotate objects or align them on the frame. To change the properties for an object, just double-click it and a Properties window pane opens. For example, here's the Properties window pane for a bubble object. As you can see from the many sections, there are all kinds of ways we can change the object, from its color and transparency, to shadow and text properties, to the amount of time the object appears on the frame, to assigning actions and adding keyframes to the object, and more. To add text to an object, such as a button, you can either use the Properties window pane or you can simply click the object and start typing. If you create an object that you plan to use again and again throughout any of your movies, open the Palettes window pane and navigate to the palette where you want to store the object. Then right-click on the object and select Add to Palette. Then whenever you want to use that or any other object from a palette, just double-click it and it's added to the active frame. For more information about objects, see this topic in the online help.